Senator Inhofe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to go back to the uh, CTBT uh, in, from a different, little different perspective. I, as Senator McCain said, we had a, a rather impressive vote back in 1999 as to the, uh, the feelings about the ratification of this treaty, and I was, I was pretty active in that debate. Um, the, uh, I think the first matter any arms control treaty is going to have to address is uh, compliance with its obligations, and it can be verified, as Ronald Reagan said, uh, uh, to the trust, but uh, verify. Uh, I think it was found by the Senate to be lacking in this point, and I, as recently as October of 08, Secretary Gates stated uh, when he made a speech to the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, he said, this is a quote, he said, to be blunt, there's absolutely no way we can maintain a credible deterrent and reduce the number of weapons in our stockpile without either resorting to testing our stockpile or pursuing a modernization program. Now, we talked, uh, uh, Dr. Perry, uh, it, when we, we talked informally uh, before the meeting about the, the fact that this, to me, the most, one of the most, perhaps the most important part of the, 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 the job that you had to do was addressing the CTBT. Uh, however, you had made the statement that it's impossible to have any kind of uh, consensus. The first thing I'd ask is, could you define consensus? Is that a majority or is that 100 percent? Or somewhere you mean among between? the commission? Mm -hmm. We were about we were split about evenly on that. Oh, you were okay. So to have consensus, you would actually have consensus. Some way. By consensus, I meant everybody. It doesn't mean everyone. It means a majority. Yeah. Okay. No, not a majority. Everybody. It means 100 percent. 100 percent. Well, you know that's the problem with with 100 percent when you get. You have two problems, as we mentioned. I use the word prima donnas. I shouldn't have, I, that has a negative sense. I, I mean, highly educated, uh, uh, proven authorities in these areas, which all 12 were. Uh, however, you have that problem along with the fact there are 12. To get consensus in 12 people would be a very difficult thing. So uh, it was, was, the, was it pretty well split even in terms of the ratification of the Comprehensive uh, Test Ban uh, Treaty? Yes, it was. So, Okay, that's, that's interesting to know. And in our report, we gave each side the opportunity to give their reasons. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, Senator Glenn has already made his comments as to his feelings. Would the rest of you uh, state whether or not you agree with Secretary Gates' statement of, the, of uh, October of 08? That, Dr. Cartland, do you pretty much agree with that? Okay. Dr. Perry? Mm, yes. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Now, one other thing that is confusing to me, because I'm not quite a, as into this as most of the rest of them are, is when we talk about numbers, uh, we had our private meeting, uh, Dr. Schlesinger, and I appreciate that very much. As I understand it now, our, our number that we're using is a range between 1,700 and 2,200. Uh, obviously, there may be something that's classified that'd be more specific than that, and I won't ask you what that is. But it's also my understanding that the, that the Russians are at about 2,800 now. Is that, is that correct? Oh. Oh, oh, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Turn that on. <clears throat> they exceed the prospective limit. They have to come down by 2012. Okay. And, and you're anticipating they have to come down a lot further than we have to come down if we're going to come to some unknown figure to me anyway uh, uh, by that time. And uh, the commission expressed concern about the number of tactical nuclear weapons that they have. All right. All right. That's, that's good. The uh, second thing I'd like to get into is the recommendation uh, one. The report states that the force structure should be sized and shaped to meet diverse set of national objectives. This requires a high level assessment of strategic context. And uh, I agree with that. But this is Pre, uh, precisely what the QDR and the, uh, the NPR are, are, would be giving you the information that, that is in your recommendation number one. Why is it we can't, since that's starting right now, we can't go ahead and proceed uh, or delay that decision until we have the results of the QDR and the NPR? 
uh, and I know that, that you have a deadline of the expiration of the 5th of December, I understand that, but I also know that there are provisions by which that deadline can be extended up to five years. Is the problem we can't do that mostly that Russia wouldn't do it, or would you comment as to any way that we could delay this until we have the information that will be given to us by the NPR and the QDR? <clears throat> I think the um, start follow on either could be negotiated by the end of the year or if there's still issues remaining, they could get an extension of the previous start. At, at that time, so if we have information that you would have, we would have the benefit of into December as a result of our QDR, we might then at that time request a, an extension. I think that's conceivable. Okay. Uh, my time's going by fast here and I want to get into the missile defense thing here. The uh, um, when the announcement uh, came out as to the uh, um, uh, Secretary Gates and what's going to be the position of the administration, uh, of course, I was a little distressed over a lot of things that you, you are not addressing in this meeting, such as the, uh, the F-22, the C-17, the, the uh, future combat system, system. But they did get pretty specific in some of the recommendations in uh, terms of our missile defense system. I, getting, I know you've already addressed this, and I'm going a little bit over my time, Mr. Chairman. I'd just like to get your feeling about the recommendation on the Czech Republic and, the, and Poland. It would seem to me that that could be pretty well verified that that is to preclude a threat that would emanate from Iran. And yet we're, uh, I think those parliaments, and I was there, and they, I was told that they were ready to uh, come to the table on that and agree that they could have the radar uh, capability in the Czech Republic and the, um, and the um, uh, capability, uh, launching capability in, in Poland, except they were waiting to see where this, this administration was going to be. That was a disappointment to me, the $1.4 billion cut. And I'd just like to have the, the feeling of the commission uh, on on those particular sites, uh, if that was addressed in your report, we did not address that in our report, Senator Inhofe. My own personal view is that if, and this is a big if, if we can negotiate an agreement for a site based in Russia, it will be a more effective site against the Iranian missile. If we if we cannot do that, the sites in Poland and Czechoslovakia should be satisfactory. That, that, I like that answer. The, the other four agree pretty much with that answer. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Schlesinger, this is largely a political issue, Senator Inhofe. The, the uh, <clears throat> Russians do not so much object to missile defense in Europe or against Iran. They object to our putting those sites in former satellite territory, which they regard as provocative. I understand that, it's, uh, although I think the words that were used were they don't object to doing it against rogue nations. And, uh, and, you know, I think we all have our definition of that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 